uh, Honeymoon who is here! someone who leaves in the middle of the show. We'll miss you. Have fun in Palm Springs. We'll miss you. Have fun in Palm Springs. <laughs> I wish you would wait to receive them. I just think you would be <laughs> all fun that way. I know, but I just get so excited to read your words. I just like, I just gotta come over here and get, get them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like to just tell you I'm going places just to get your letters. You know what I like about you? Mm, well, um, if my memory serves me, you love the way my hair glistens in the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, you love um, when I'm not around so that you can imagine my features and doodle them on your lying paper in your notebooks. Mm -hmm. But if you got something else, tell me. I like, I love. <laughs> <laughs> mm, spinach. I love that you love my word so. I mean, that's why this just all works out so well. Let me tell you, Palestra, there's nothing better than finding someone who finds you spectacular, regardless of what you think about them. Well, I just want to know, why can't I ever come and sit in on your classes that you teach at Oxford? Well, uh... Like I said, Calistra, while I'm teaching, I like to visualize those features of yours so that I can sketch them later. Where'd you go, Professor? Oh, I just had to go behind my podium to do a little doodle. <laughs> okay. You... I mean, am I the only one? You, you paused mid-sentence, and then you ran by the podium. Um, ancient... Ancient art. <laughs> that art. is the question. What was I going to say? That's my question to you. Does no one else feel the same way? Uh, you guys are all getting this? No, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. Continue your lecture. <laughs> sorry. Ancient. <laughs> John, what? I think Professor Professor Devonshire is, is fucking that Cal Callista girl. What's her name exactly? Callistra? Callistra. That's it. No, he wouldn't. I think he is. He's devoted to his craft. <laughs> don't, don't growl at me. <laughs> you asked for my interpretation of the situation. I gave it to you. Maybe you're right, but I just I saw that like standing more closely than a student and a teacher should stand together. Okay, all right. Well, hey, you know what? Maybe there's something going. Good for both of them. Baloney again? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Collected works of Shakespeare again? Tie and fiber at least. <laughs> Your sand yeah. <laughs> Your mom always gives you crappy sandwiches, mm -hmm. and my dad always gives me crappy books to read. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? what? Professor Devonshire? He gave me some hot gossip before class. Ooh, do this. He said that he saw some kid matching your description token up behind the dumpsters. <laughs> that was me! Shit, man. <laughs> uh, what's this? So, two gentlemen of Verona, what were they doing here? <laughs> what was that? I don't, I don't care about this stuff. I did. My dad doesn't know. I mean, I like, like, you know, John Updike and Alice Munro and more contemporary authors. Man, you should enroll in some of those classes. This is Oxford. <laughs> they have so many classes you can choose from. Really? You should follow your heart. I won't have any son of mine reading any Updike. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even 
know what giant uptake rights did. I know that I don't want any sin of mine mixed up with any updikes. It doesn't matter what they write. Oh, Trump! <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're pro Trump, right? <laughs> I can't tell sometimes. <laughs> of course I'm pro Trump. Exactly. He's making America great again. Oh. Oh boy, I hope these Chicago Bears beat the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Offense! <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, they wouldn't have when that old butler was in office. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we take our seats? Uh, why, don't, why don't we? Uh, leisure! <laughs> Dad, I'm quitting, I'm quitting school. What? You, uh, no son of mine would, will quit school. You'll read those collected works of Shakespeare, and you'll oh. like it. I, mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. You can't relate. Well, you can't kind of relate it to the things of today. But it's it's archaic, Dad. I'm a modern guy making my own way in the world. <laughs> We've gotten where we are now by the lessons of the past. If you can understand that, well then. Uh, uh, those beer cans. Uh, sir, I, I can't redeem them for you. They're all destroyed. <laughs> what? You're not entitled to a five cent deposit when they're in those conditions. Uh, you're just gonna melt it down anyway. <laughs> I don't melt anything down. Look, there's a line behind you, buddy. Okay. Uh, Do you have some uh, bottles or cans to deposit? Yeah, I've got these 12 pristine empty Pepsi bottles. Uh, there's a customer who knows how to maintain his recyclables. I mean, you should remember the lessons of your past. <laughs> how dare you turn my philosophy on me? I mean, all I know is, uh, 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 Cleopatra would never destroy anything she wanted to recycle. Am I right? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. A real shakes head over here. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Can I have my 20 cents? You only had it in these six bottles. You said you had 12. Do you want to yeah. make three more trips? Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> to in my car. <laughs> I can only, you know. Yeah, no, don't overexert yourself. <laughs> We're well, I'm a man of leisure. I just want everyone here to know that. Right. <laughs> Um, a trick that I like to use is to blow into them like a balloon. Destroy <laughs> <laughs> some of the shape that way. Hmm. I'll tell you who blows. You! <laughs> I oh. walked right into that. Tell you what. I know a guy down the street. He uh, he lives on the street. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll buy those off of you. <laughs> uh, it's like a black market recyclable guy. Fill him up. You must be the black guy I'm looking for. <laughs> Obviously. I hear you buy recyclables that aren't pristine. That I do, my friend. That I do. I need to sell these to make extra money to keep my son in college, even though he wants to drop out. <laughs> College. Yeah. <laughs> I have a PhD from Cornell University. Whoa, look what that's got me. I didn't know you needed a PhD to whittle on the street. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, you don't. But those degrees, those pieces of paper they give you, you're worthless. What does your son like to do? He <laughs> likes to read about updikes. <laughs> Whatever those are. You must mean John Updike. Yes. Has he read all of the Rabbit Run series? I'm afraid <laughs> so. 
Guys, the levee's about to, about to give. We need more uptakes. Come on, come on, plug the holes. No! Reinforce it. Stop the uptakes. Where's the rabbit? <laughs> I didn't bring you. Oh, uh, my bad. I brought a bunch of rabbits. What? Ah! Um, um, bitch, what? Paul, don't you didn't, wait, no, don't, don't turn this on Paul. It's always Paul's fault. You, your phone conversations are way too quick and you're never specific, okay? I'm not a mind reader. I'm most efficient when I'm on the phone. I don't have time for dilly dallying, chit chat. I get right to the point. You know what? I'll grab one of the rabbits. Let's try it, okay? Hmm? Steve, at this point, it can't hurt. Let him do his thing. I know where to get rabbits and bring them at bargain prices. Did you have to go to your car to get that, Paul? What? Nothing, never mind. Yeah, I got 11 more. Um, I'll be right back. Ah! <laughs> How am I to miss you if you refuse to leave? Well, um, I was thinking that maybe we could solve that problem by getting married. And then I could come to your class and you can parade me around and everybody could be so excited about our love. Oh, let me stop you there, Kalistra. For I cannot marry you. You know that I am dedicated to my craft. Macaroni and cheese. It's my favorite. <laughs> and it is my first and only love. Kalistra. My lady, I'm sorry this letter took so long to deliver. Professor Devonshire gave it to me to put it in the post two weeks ago. They're just finally delivering it now. He was intoxicated when he wrote it. I hope you find it scintillating. I regret that I gave so much information to that messenger boy. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, Calistra. I spoke from my heart when I wrote that. So read it out loud. Oh, I will. I'm so excited. He should be. He should be here to hear this, don't you think? Oh no, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your handwriting is so different when you're drunk. I write with my left when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I will never understand the depths of your genius. That's right. You won't. <laughs> Dear Calista, I remember. I love the aura. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Miss Lockhart, I've got a letter for you. Um, I, I, I hope I didn't send the wrong letter to the wrong person. Uh, I am not the best delivery boy, but whoever wrote it was rather drunk. <laughs> like they wrote it with their left hand. Ah, that would be Professor Devonshire. Oh. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and I'm really upset that you can't seem to be able to get cast in a new show where you'll be the plucky main character and I can think about how your uh, relationship with Harrison Ford is just then the gold that makes the National Enquirer its money. I don't think it's just me, hon. Well, I was drunk. Go back to the thing I said about, uh, what was it? A Millennium Falcon? What's one of those? I what? Do you want me to read? Reread that part. Uh -huh. What was I talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, it says here, if only I could take you on a Kessel Run that lasted longer than four parsecs. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm sure when I'm drunk, my mind enters another dimension because I don't know what any of that means. I just wish that you would go on your latest vacation, leave me alone with my genius, and let me appreciate you when you return because of your lengthy absence that you will leave in your wake. I 
I feel like I'm trying to get Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Well, that's odd. Well, I'll go. <laughs> All right, 24, three saints, gather up. Um, we got a hot tip. Someone with, uh, without the, um, <laughs> not supposed to be doing that. Uh, is it April? No, 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 it's the real thing. Um, uh, an, 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 I can't. A ne'er do well on the streets uh, is uh, buying uh, a con- counterfeit uh, recycle. I can't fucking talk to him. Uh, he's buying. Re- <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, you drunk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's buying recyclables on people. And recycle what? Oh. Recyclables. Oh, recy- oh, I heard recycled bulls. Recycle recyclables. Got people. it. I think you've been hitting the sauce again, Cam. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sober for three hours right now, and I'm going strong. Um, here's the thing. I got a description. The guy who sold to him says he was a black guy. That was a lot of buildup for not much payoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there a... Next on the agenda. <laughs> um, so you know, you know castles. Wait, wait, quick. That was just like that was just like an informational kind of like this. I got a lot to get through. Oh, uh, you like know, a, like a you know castles. Sure. You remember the concept of castles? Yeah, it's a great TV show. Yes. And you know, uh, you know, Bones. Yeah. <laughs> Bones. Also a great TV show. Great. And um, and uh, you know, uh, Frasier. <laughs> yeah, was yeah okay. I know that guy. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, the pharmacy down on Third is accepting prescriptions from doctors out of their jurisdiction. We got to crack down on that. Yes. Do you ever notice? Sometimes you kind of slide into like a 1940s like comic caper voice when you're giving us our daily uh, assignments. Like you want us to be bumbling. Do you notice this, or is that me? Is that me, guys? That's a good point, Marcheski. <laughs> <laughs> Marcheski's got the good points. Ah, uh, yeah, it's one of them uh, self-fulfilling prophecies. <laughs> okay, that's all Marcheski's got. It's just, <laughs> that's all I got. So then my third wife left me. Because I tried to, uh. I don't know, tried to fuck her sister, but. (laughs) That one was on me. I'm not gonna put that one on me. I'm having a PhD from Cornell. I just thought having an education, you know, I thought that would unlock the world. I'm leaving. You think just because you have a PhD that you can get away with anything? Well, you can't. Wait, baby, stay! No! <laughs> what? I'm yeah, sorry. I'm a little what? bit drunk. <laughs> a little bit? I said, wait, baby, no, stay. <laughs> I love you. Actions speak louder than words, Jerry. Veronica, <laughs> Jerry wrote this letter for you. I was supposed to deliver it a long time ago. <laughs> You are not the best messenger boy. <laughs> you would have been just sober. Mm. And I guess it's all lies. Yeah. Well, you might as well just stay and watch no, now. I'm listening. Uh. <laughs> Dear Veronica, you are so beautiful. I can see it runs in the family. <laughs> it's a shame you're not as beautiful as your sister. Wait, stop right there. I'm Don't... trying to have sex with Don't keep going. After all, I have a PhD. I can get away with anything. <laughs> I don't think that's Shakespeare in that book, man. That sounds like, uh, that sounds like some kind of like domestic American bickering. <laughs> John Updike! Yeah. 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 All right, all right. That's what John Updike, you specialized in, capturing the, the, the essential ennui of modern day man. You're so smart. You should be teaching here at Oxford. What are you doing slumming it as a student? Like a... Asshole. (laughs) (laughs) The same sandwich, yeah. (laughs) So all this is. (laughs) Go ahead. Well, I would never (laughs) know. (laughs) 
<laughs> See, I thought it was a different day because I was reading John up like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, I was, I'm a little bit drunk. Yeah, no, it's, no. <laughs> yeah, no I, I knew you thought that. Um, <laughs> I, I was, uh, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it's a different day. It's not the same sandwich. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> That'd be a totally weird. No, two weeks, <laughs> two weeks have passed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that cholesterol? Did you, did you go after that? You see her in Ellen McBeal? Yeah. What? <laughs> I always confuse Callistra with um, uh, uh, Lysa Strata. That's a, that's a Greek play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. With Cymbeline, that's a C name, that's Shakespeare, with Laura Flynn Boyle, who is a thin person. Right. <laughs> to me, that's my Mount Rushmore of uh, can't keep him straight. <laughs> <laughs> You're the smart one. You should be teaching me here. Right? You should be both be teachers. Why don't we just do that, man? Why don't let's just let's take over a classroom and and, and, and give them the what for? Let's do it. Uh, excuse me, uh, professors. Could you not both lecture at the same time? It's really hard to follow. Okay, listen. Yeah, I have right a lot to say. Okay. This is how it was I have a lot to say about the works of John Updike. One vintage point, a contemporary band of essential eye converges on one single point. Things seem to be the as they go further on. I, I met a black man once who was willing for what seemed to be a great master effect. As you can see, Picasso cubism was a direct lineage from. Uh, I've got the floor now. Picasso <laughs> <laughs> was a direct lineage from the Impressionism, the Impressionism that preceded him. You can see Matisse, and you can see um, all the greats, <laughs> and how the influence uh, went down the line. Uh, you to jump in with literature next? I'm going to dump behind the book. <laughs> I'm gonna drunk. <laughs> I'm gonna jump behind the podium and think about my wife. <laughs> I think I'm in the wrong class. <laughs> Your dad made you take this class, huh? Yeah. My dad made me take college. Yeah. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a dad? Well, my, my dad used to give me all this stuff that he thought I would want to read when it wasn't my idea at all. Like what? You know, Shakespeare and... I mean, it sounds like I'm putting down Shakespeare. He was he no, was a Shakespeare, good author. Was, wasn't Shakespeare was bullshit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Huh. Thank you. Huh. You guys have to check my text messages. I got, <laughs> I got a job offer. Um, it's in, it's in the Inland Empire, so... <laughs> we'll miss you! I'm gonna have fun in Hot Springs! Bye! Bye. Bye.